Uh, another thing, correlation, uh, video games and dating is that in video games, if you want to be successful, it is all about persistence. It is about trial and error. It is about overcoming multiple options, multiple um, obstacles, multiple times over. Like I said, I've been playing Zelda extensively for like a, like a month and a half now, right? And in that time, there have been several times where I've been trying to find a certain treasure chest or try to get a certain weapon. Right now I'm trying to get for the master sword or, you know, trying to beat this baddie, but I can't seem to figure it out. And I get like slaughtered to death and I keep going back and I go out and I find new weapons and I put cook new potions and things and new foods to get my strength up, to build my stamina so I can go back to those places and find that treasure and beat that bad guy. And when we're in the video game world, we get it. We know that, we're probably not going to beat that boss the first time. It's going to take multiple iterations, but we're persistent. Why are we persistent? Because we know that if we per per pursue for this and we go through it, the end result is we're going to get that new weapon. We're going to beat that boss and open up another level. We're, there's going to be a reward on the under in other end of this, right? And so, so many guys are great at understanding this for video games. I'm going to be persistent until I finally figure out how to do this thing. And yet they go ask out one woman. She says, no. Oh my God, I give up. Unfortunately, guys, in the, in the realm of dating and trying to learn how to date, it's going to mean that you got to ask out more than one woman and you got to ask out more than one time. Like, you got to understand that it is a numbers game to some extent, but more importantly, it's a persistence game. This isn't to say, by the way, that if you ask out a specific girl and she says no, to keep asking her out. But it does mean that you need to be in the practice of practicing asking out multiple women. If you ask this one out and she says no, great. Study up what you could have done better in your approach and then try on the next girl. She says, maybe kind of, you don't want that. You're not there yet. Go to the next one. Figure out what you're doing. Figure out what to say, how to say it. Maybe it's your tone of voice. Maybe it's a style. Maybe you're coming in too abrasively. Maybe you need to have a bit more of a combo before you. But the point is you figure out the strategy you need until you get the results that you want with at least one girl. Because I'll tell you now, it might not be the first five you ask out, but that sixth one, you could have unlocked the code to figure out, oh, I now know how to make a woman feel comfortable enough to agree to at least give me her number. And that comes from being persistent. So don't look at one or two failures as like, you're the worst guy ever. No girl's going to want to date you. Just look at it as, you know what? You didn't get enough practice in, but the more practice you get in, the more persistent you are at being able to learn this stuff, then you'll get the results that you want. Uh, another correlation between video games and dating. And I try to teach this one to you guys all the time, right? Is that, let's take Zelda, for example, right? Um, in the game, if you just run at the goblins, chances are you're going to get slaughtered. I've, I've seen some goblins in this game. They have some overpowered uh, um, weapons. They got like rock boulders and they got Zonai things that they can uh, throw flames and stuff at me. Versus, okay, I get there and I can see them in the distance, right? And I see a rock over here. So I, I go behind the rock and then I'm kind of studying up. Okay, let me check what's in my inventory. I got a uh, homing device here and a bomb here. I'm going to set up this timing bomb. I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to walk away. Well, I'm going to, then I'm going to run towards them. And then when they start running towards me, I'm going to run back. I'm going to shoot an arrow at the time bomb. You can tell I play this a lot, right? And then by the time they run to where, where I used to be, they'll blow up, right? So what am, I, what am I telling this story for? What is that about? It's about patience and it's about timing. And in video game world, you guys know, if you're playing a first-person shooter, like a GoldenEye, because I'm, I'm old, or a Halo or whatever, um, or even like in Zelda, there's going to be moments where rushing in isn't the best strategy. You're going to have to know, okay, this is the moment where I can rush in, but this one over here, I need to be a bit more stealth. I need to take my time. I need to make sure I have a full-on strategy. I need to back away. Hey, I need the bad guy to come to me, so I need to kind of like sit over here and just kind of wait for him to kind of slowly walk over. I'll like throw a piece of meat out there, and he can walk over to me, and then I can attack, right? And so the same is true with women. Like, I think the problem guys have is that we start dating, and we think, Go, 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 go. I got to be going all the time or she's going to lose interest versus thinking, hey, for the date, I'm going to go, go, go. And then I'm going to pull back a bit. I'm going to like text her for a little bit. And then I'm going to sit back and let her text me first. And guys think that that's game playing. I got this for you. Let's say it is game playing. It's the version of game playing that's allowing her to have the ability to choose if she wants to interact with you and to choose how she feels about you. And it's easier to build that up if you know the right times to be present and the right times to kind of 
back away. This is why I tell you guys all the time, like I go on first dates and then I wait four or five days. I'm in that moment, what am I doing? When I'm on the date, I'm being persistent and I'm, I'm, this is the time now to get to know me, to laugh, to have a good time, to be cordial, to build up a little bit of interest. And then I know to go away because I know that going away equals her sitting with her thoughts. And a woman's thought life is the most powerful thing in her arsenal that's going to help you out. You know why? Because women tend to connect everything together. And so you take her on a good date, show her a good time, and you give her all these great feelings. And now everything in the course of her week is correlating to this. I, I'm having such a great week because of that time that I have with this guy. You got to give her that time to feel that, right? But that goes back to patience and timing. Just like in a video game, you got to know when to pull back and when to make yourself present. You have to learn the balance of that in dating. If you don't know what that is, I have plenty of videos on my YouTube page that can help you with that. But also you can hire me for coaching and we can help you figure out like why you may have so much anxiety about the idea of like, I didn't text her for 24 hours. Oh my God. Cause I've had plenty of guys write me about that. Like I, I didn't text her for a day and what, I don't know if I should like, uh. we get all panicky because we think if we're not in front of her 24 seven, she's going to lose interest. And women just don't operate that way. Like women want the time to miss you, to think about you, to, to ponder the mystery of what you're doing when you're not in her presence. Like you need to give them the ability to experience that as part of the dating process. Another thing, um, parallels between video games and dating is uh, character customization. A lot of these games now you can choose like the, the color skin of your character or the clothing skin, or you can create your own character altogether, right? And so, but in the, within the games that allow you to do that, we have a fun time doing that because it allows us to do what? It allows us to give our character a distinction over other characters out there. You were playing like a, like a Halo or a Fortnite or something like that, then we can, this is like basically branding you. You're saying, I'm representing myself as this in this game. This game gave me the options to do that. And so I'm gonna choose my clothing choice. I'm gonna choose what my body looks like, et cetera, et cetera, right? I got news for you. You have the same ability to do that in real life as it pertains to your dating life because your job is to help you stand out amongst the other guys that she's dating. So if you're just doing the average collar and a tie, you could do that. That could be a look, but you have the ability to make yourself stand out. Up to this point, you may have thought, I just want to be me and whatever. You can be whatever version of you you want to be. But what I'm saying is that the more distinguished you can make yourself, it's going to give you a leg up. So that could be something as simple as like getting a certain style of haircut it could be something as simple as like, you know, maybe wearing clothes with a certain like, like bend to it. I'm not a fashion dude, so I don't know what, what all the terminology is. But the point is that even when I go out on dates, like I have a specific type of cologne that I wear that I know smells good. I have my, my shirts in a certain style that I have now. I have certain shorts or pants that I wear, certain type of shoes. Like you want to make it to where this woman sees you and it's like, oh, yeah, he's definitely different from these other bozos. So I'm saying.